Welcome to another training session on PLC programming. In today's session, we will see how to wire and program a Delta A2 servo drive with the Mitsubishi PLC using GX developer software. Before starting today's session, I would like you guys to please subscribe my channel to stay connected with me. The second thing, do comment in the comment section and suggest me the topics for the upcoming videos. Let's start the wiring. The most basic way to run a servo drive is by giving it a pulses on its pulse input. As you can see that I am using 24 volt DC from the servo drive. We have to wire the PLC outputs with the drive as shown in the diagram. We have to give signals on the two inputs of the drive, sine and the pulse. Sign is just a direction signal if it is off motor will run clockwise direction. If the sign signal is on, the motor will run in the counterclockwise direction. The second input is a pulse. We have to give pulses on its input and motor will run a step against each input pulse. Step size and motor speed can be changed using electronic gear ratio parameters of the drive. As you can see that I have connected SSR with Y0 output. When the Y0 output turns on, it will turn on the SSR relay and the SSR relay will give pulse signal to the server drive. After completing the wiring, we will go to the GX developer software and write the program. PLSY command is used to send the high speed output pulses on the PLC output. If we open this command, S1 input is a frequency at which we have to send the output pulses. Suppose we want to send the pulses at 1 kHz, we will enter 1000 in the S1 input. 1000 means 1 kHz. Now the second input is S2. We have to enter the number of the pulses which we want to send to the PLC output. We will enter 1500 pulses. Now in the last we will enter the output number means the PLC output where we have to send these pulses. So we want to send these pulses to Y0. Now every time we trigger the M0 bit 1500 pulses at 1 kHz frequency will go to the Y0 output. Now we will download the program and monitor it. As you can see that every time I trigger the bit M0, it will send high speed pulses to the Y0 output and it will send pulses to the servo drive via SSR relay and the motor runs in the forward direction. So this is the basic example that how we can run a servo drive with a PLC. So that's the end of the today's session. Please subscribe my channel to stay connected with me and till next video take care and goodbye.